I want to point that out because obviously part of my um part of my like really extreme interest in your life story mm-hmm. was grounded in the fact that I learned you were coaching at a very very young age. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's not it it's not common to be so young and to think, oh, I want to coach this team versus play in it. Right. How old were you when you were coaching that little league team? When I was, I was probably, league? I was in high school. I was probably in the tenth grade and okay. coaching, you know, eight, nine year olds, and you know, in the little league, getting started. So I was in high school, tenth, eleventh grade. Okay. Coaching those kids and, like I said, trying to earn my own money to to buy them milkshakes and if a kid didn't have a uniform, try to raise money to help him buy his uniform. So the, I was a very uh, young at that time. And and I, as I look back on it, Manny, I was probably a glorified babysitter because we mm-hmm. would practice in the morning, like mm-hmm. in the summertime at nine or 10 o'clock in the morning and practice all until after lunch. And I never forget parents would come and pick them up. But again, we, we I spent a lot of time with the kids. And, and when I was inducted to the Kentucky Hall of Fame a couple few years ago, a lot of those kids came to the uh, induction and it really warmed my heart more than anybody who showed up. Those kids came to the induction in Louisville, Kentucky, and I, I, I had an opportunity to introduce them to my family at the time. Wow. And so, and one young man, Tommy Lilly, is a, a priest. So he was he was able to be there. And so that, that was a beautiful thing to see that, that at that age, I was able to impact them uh, when I was a sophomore, junior in high school. 